Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing the very much anticipated series, Underrated Champions. And we're going with Guardian this episode. Because after I saw the poll for the vote, it looked like Underrated Champion gameplay was number one. And best champ to use uh, five star Awakening Jam on was number two. So I'll do these things in order of which is wanted most. Obviously, as I thought, the six star Yellow Jacket gameplay isn't... Isn't too popular, but you know, one day if I get on that CCP, you know what, I might rank three him and try and get something out of him because he's just so bad, but you know, he def desperately needs buff. Anyway, we're focusing on Guardian here, and first off, we're in Act 4, we're in the Maestro boss path, and we're just playing around with my boy Guardian. I've got him maxed out, rank 3, I mean, 3 star maxed out, um, and he's awakened. I don't know what Siggy is, but he doesn't really need the six, I think. And uh, you can see this Hulk has a lot of physical resistance, but because we've got that extra burst damage, we can just absolutely melt him. And as you can see there, that SP2, once you've got that off, is game over. And the rotation I'd most likely go for this guy is an SP1 to get three of those charges, and then let off an SP2. We'd have a four or five by then, because they passively um, you gain charges. And then let that off, and he's absolutely dead. And as I said, he's really good for that Hulk because he has a lot of physical resistance. However, Guardian doesn't deal damage with crits mainly, it's the extra bonus damage like Red Hulk, the energy damage, and uh, that does some very, very nice damage. He also has that on his main combo, so uh, it deals like four times the amount of his normal, like if we hit for like 200 damage, we're going to deal like 600 burst energy damage, uh, so it's very nice. He also has a synergy with everyone else on the team, which gives them three perfect blocks, which is very nice, and increases their block rating by plus 500. So he's got, uh, you know, some nice block efficiency, which is always very much appreciated. And um, he's also, you know, just uh, hits very, very hard. So that's pretty fun. And uh, now we're just working our way to the SP2, and we don't even get to see all the damage because the fight is already over. He's just way too OP with that, and uh, I do think he is underrated. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.